Our next two problems involve resonance in open and closed pipes, and before we do those problems, I would like to review resonance. Here we have a, an open pipe, a pipe that is open at both ends. Sounds of certain frequencies can set up standing waves in such a pipe, and the pipe is said to resonate at these frequencies. We have depicted here a sound wave of the lowest frequency that will resonate in this pipe. Being open at both ends, the ends of the pipe become anti-nodes for the resonating sound wave. Here we have an anti-node pictured at one end, an anti-node pictured at the other, and a node in the middle of the pipe. Since the distance between two nodes or two anti-nodes is a half a wavelength, the length of the pipe then is equal to one half wavelength. The frequency of the sound associated with this standing wave is the velocity of the sound in the pipe divided by the wavelength, which is equal to V divided by 2 times L. This is the frequency of the fundamental, or the so-called first harmonic. Other frequencies can also resonate in the pipe, and these are known as overtones or harmonics. Here we have the next resonant frequency. Again, at the ends of the pipe, we have anti-nodes, but in this case, we have two nodes in the pipe. The length of the pipe now is equal to one full wavelength, and the frequency associated with this standing wave, again, the velocity divided by the wavelength, is now the velocity divided by L, which if we compare it to the fundamental, is equal to two times the frequency of the fundamental. This is also known as the second harmonic. Another possibility is shown here. Again, an anti-node at both ends, but in this case, one, two, three nodes contained within the pipe. The length of the pipe now is one and a half or three halves the wavelength, and the frequency associated with that the velocity divided by 2L over 3, which is three times the fundamental, and this is the third harmonic. If we continue in this way, we would find that the next resonant frequency is four times the fundamental and is the fourth, so-called fourth harmonic. The next one is five times the fundamental and so on. So in an open pipe, the resonant frequencies are simply integral multiples of the fundamental frequency. Standing waves can also be set up in a closed pipe, and the frequencies of those standing waves are slightly different than they are in an open pipe. For example, here is a standing wave of the lowest frequency that it can it exist in a closed pipe. The pipe is closed at one end, and the air is not free to vibrate at that end, so at that end there must be a node. At the open end, we have an anti-node. The standing wave set up here will will be related to the length of the tube in that the length of the tube is one quarter of a full wavelength. The frequency associated with that, the velocity over the wavelength, is V divided by the wavelength, which is four times the length of the tube. This is the frequency of the fundamental, or the first harmonic, in a closed tube. Other standing waves that are possible in this closed tube are shown here. Here's a situation where, again, we have a node at the closed end, an anti-node at the open end, but now another node uh, in the pipe. The length of the pipe now is equal to 3 quarters of the wavelength, and the frequency associated with this wave is equal to V divided by lambda again, which is <coughs> V divided by 4L over 3, which comes out to be 3V over 4L. Comparing that to the fundamental, which was V over 4L, we find that here we have a frequency that is simply three times the fundamental frequency. That, therefore, is the third harmonic. Standing wave of the next highest frequency is pictured here. Again, a node at the closed end, an anti-node at the open end, but now two more nodes within the pipe. The length of the pipe is 5 fourths lambda, and the frequency associated with this standing wave is 5V over 4L, 
which is simply five times the frequency of the fundamental. This is the fifth harmonic. In a closed pipe, the frequencies of the overtones are the odd multiples of the fundamental. The even multiples are simply not there. So we have that the third harmonic is three times the fundamental. We have the fifth harmonic five times the fundamental. And if we continued, we would have the next highest frequency would be seven times the fundamental and so on. Just the odd harmonics.